Good morning, this is Gracie Opulancer and I'm all about eccentric and opulent lifestyle and you can find out a lot more about me on gracieopulancer.com. Today I'm going to talk about a wow factor in your bedroom, whether you live in it, whether you're having a booking.com, Arcadia, or Airbnb. So have a look at this for review. And I've been sleeping here for quite some time and I thought, right, what's missing here? What do you do when you've got a view like this? And again, look at that. That is more sea up there, right? Now, um, the view is overlooking our neighbour, but it's tropical, beautiful pool. There um, is... Uh, three houses, but nothing's getting built. It's, we know 100% for sure that the, what we see is what we have. So what I've decided to do, so just to give you an idea, that's the view, and that's the sea. It's, uh, we're on the island of Koh Samui, Chong Long, and it's a beautiful view, and um, I'm amazed that 50% of our life is spent in the bedroom, isn't it? Whether we're sleeping, whether we're sick. And the wellness, the feng shui, this is where dreams are built when we're sleeping. This is where we rest. This is where we birth populations. This is where we make love. And yet, I find, and I have reviewed over nearly 400 hotels across the globe. I have in the last four years been through so many accommodations, Airbnbs. I'm always gobsmacked at the neglect that we, we give our bedrooms. So what I'm gonna do this morning, and I'm really excited, is we're gonna cut it down. As you can see, we've got a dampness problem here. And it's because uh, in Koh Samui, the wind and the storms, which uh, September, October, November are horrendous. So uh, we know the problem outside has never been done properly. So I'm going to rectify that. And if we're fixing it, why don't we cut out the wall? So I'm going to come down. Can you see? I'm going to come down. Oh, I think it's uh, 50 centimetres more. It's it's because I want at the outside in, it's a debate, isn't it? Isn't it a debate thinking, oh, look, you know, people are going to overlook you. I can tell you the neighbours are not going to overlook. Have a look. We're very high up. So, yeah, I'll see more of them. They're going to get a shock this morning when this window's getting cut open. But with a view like that, I want to see more of it. I want to wake up as I do. That's my view, isn't that gorgeous? And I wanna make it even bigger. And this is a wow factor for me. This is where I rest, this is where I dream. And also if I'm to Airbnb it, then there's always gotta have a wow factor in your Airbnb, and this is gonna be it. What I did, uh, this is uh, tiles. Just done this a couple of weeks ago. These are uh, tiles, which are perfect, but they look like wood. This has just come out, this um, particular grain. I love it. It feels good. It's solid and it's robust. You know, I'm not strict with children or anyone coming up here from the pool if their feet are wet or whatever. So they're very, very robust, just to give you that view. And I'm the only one here on the condominium with this view with this side view so i want to really make the most of that i put in the new air conditioning i'm going to tell you something all the air conditionings in this property were 50 15 years old we changed it what did it do it dropped my electricity bill by 60 percent so it's important and uh carrier go for they're great so it dropped upgrading all your, your uh, air conditionings for health, safety and electricity cost was well worth doing. What I also did 
we're in the land of bamboo and I got this idea from hotels. So um, this is actually from Ikea and it's gorgeous and it's a wireless light. Can you see that the cables, um, there's no cables, we took it through the roof. So this is great at night just um, when we're sleeping and you can adjust them and go high and low, which is fantastic. So we did that. I didn't want bright lights. There were these spotlights everywhere here, which I've changed for a, for a more economical, they're hideous, but I'm not changing that. You just gotta think about what's worth investing and what's not. Now these are very popular um, tables here in um, Thailand, uh, all cut in uh, Chiang Mai, but there's a lot on Koh Samui. They're everywhere if you go to restaurants and that. Um, I don't like the black, but this is my working desk. It's fine, and it's going to be long back over here as well. So, um, oh, it's going to be great to get rid of all this. This is that's horrible. Again, just reiterating the tiles that we've used. They're the latest grain design, hard wearing, perfect for tropical living. They look great and it's not very common that you do this in Thailand. We just asked for it. Obviously it's not finished. I've gone for an off white here needs redoing. Again, not over capitalising, you know, especially if it's not your ideal home. But that to me is worth doing for resale, for my own feng shui and for um, Airbnb. Now, what else we did? Now, the Thai, there's a lot of construction work you can hear happening on the island of Koh Samui. It is the it island to be at the moment. A lot, a lot of investors, a lot, a lot of new people, retirees coming in. The Thai said this is very bad feng shui. Now, this is the latest in fan technology. It's quiet. It's wooden. I wanted something nice to look at when I looked up. The Thai said you should never sleep under a fan, but I disagree on the feng shui. I love lying on my bed. I'm not a big fan of air conditioning all the time, even though the new technology is fantastic. Um, and, I, I, and I don't get a cold or blocked up or anything, even though I have one, but that's nothing to do with air conditioning. So back to the fan, the latest technology looks lovely and I have this at night and I love it. Just that nice breeze with this open and I'm lying in bed and I can see this, the sunset, the sunrise is awesome. So I'd highly recommend doing this if you're superstitious, as I said, the Thai says never have a fan underneath your bed, I think for obvious reasons, safety and so forth. But that's a risk I'm prepared to take and I love it. Because even though our beautiful coconuts, and you can see I'm not feeling this breeze coming into this room. So that for, for I just want um, that now I've taken all the curtains off because like why would you cover that on a wellness front it's always beautiful just to organically wake up with the sun rise and go but that's personal we'll worry about that a bit later I think uh, one negative here is having the air conditioning here that's a bad design but this is a 15 year old property for personal reasons, it wouldn't add any value to anything. I will have that removed because I can, because I have the option of putting it low and outside for accessibility. So it's something I may think about. And then the balcony, um, we just leave as is. That's just my wardrobe. And then chairs now, with these chairs, I'll probably get a nice swinging one, like a, an egg. Because with a view like that, it's just gorgeous. So just to give you an idea of the view that I'm going to see a lot more. Look, if it wasn't with my neighbour, I would do floor to ceiling or something like this. But 
we don't want to have it too much. As I said, um, we're coming down a good 50 centimetres. And we'll, I'll film that and you'll see that. I think that's going to be great. Again, just reiterating what's worth investing when you're upgrading property. New air conditioning saves me 60% on um, electricity bill and health and safety reasons. Worth it. Carrier is the most expensive. Very happy with that. And the filters are second to none. I then invested in, I've got to remember the brand of this because it, it's not a cheap fan, it's wooden, feng shui, and it's dead silent, you don't hear it, all you feel is the breeze, that's worth investing, I'd say go wood or bamboo for, for earthy tones and interior design. I went for bamboo lights from Ikea for the wireless, their wireless, which is fantastic option. But there are so many bamboo design lights that you can opt for. What you can always do, which is, this is the Ikea, but I could also put another bamboo design, but keep the Ikea wireless technology, which I love. And that is my working desk, which is very popular here in Thailand. You see them everywhere in restaurants. I have done something revolutionary downstairs and turned the metal legs into gold. And you can have a look at that at IKEA Kitchen on my YouTube. I've also opted for um, tiles with a wood effect, very popular, very robust for tropical, humid uh, living. And especially if you've got, in my case, I actually have two swimming pools. So again, for durability, if you're renting it out on booking.com or Airbnb, your guests, remember, are never going to look after your property like you are. So you want to go for durability, high wear, comfort, and that feels fantastic on my feet as well. So here it is, just reiterating today and stand up. There, look at that view. That's a sea view. It's not a bad view, is it? And I'm taking the wall about 50 centimetres down because the wall is damaged. It needs treating for the harsh storms that is about to begin in Koh Samui. We're coming into the rainy season and there's no property next to me. So this sidewall gets a lot of beating. So we're going to do a new guttering where the water just runs off into the neighbour. No, just runs off beautifully. We're going to treat this wall, give it the love and the that it needs. It's been neglected for many years. And uh, so they're going to come here very soon. Just reiterating your, your bedroom is worth the investment. It's where dreams are dream. It's where you rest. It's where you populate, it's where you make love, it's where you make discussions, where you have arguments. It's the heart and soul of the um, home and it's important we, we, we can give that a lot of attention. I've got carrier, as in air conditioning, new, 60% drop in electricity, which is fantastic, and the filters are the latest technology so you don't wake up with a cold or a heavy head. I've opted for bamboo lights for Ikea, for a wellness and a feng shui and ambiance. I've opted for a fan above where I sleep. It's wooden, it's dead quiet. It's the latest technology and it's the latest technology. They've made it where that the air is pushed down, including with my air conditioning. So you get the maximum benefit of sleeping in Antarctica at different temperatures and these lights are wireless from Ikea. You can change the bamboo for anything here in Thailand and just keep the infrastructure of the wireless. You know, uh, these tables here is my working desk, very popular here in Thailand. It's either teak or, a, or acacia wood. They always do the standard box standard of these frames and they paint it black. In my kitchen, I've had a complete dis different design and gold, so you can ask them to spray paint it a different colour. 
I might get them to do that actually. And then just finishing off the latest wood tile effect for the floor, perfect for humidity, perfect for tropical living, perfect for when you've got property with, in my case, two swimming pools. And this is my view, and I am just about to cut this wall bigger and better because I want to see literally the same or the tropical. I want to give that whole beautiful outside, inside, ambiance it's worth it I wouldn't I wouldn't invest in this if you don't have amazing views for Airbnb you always need a wow factor we've already got a wow factor but we're going to take it up to another level you can command higher prices for resale this is worth it and also because the wall is damaged don't neglect humidity or um, crumbling walls or walls that are not prop proper drainage. It's, you know, look at this, this is atrocious. This has been neglected for many years. So we're just taking it down here. You can see it in the finish off. So really excited this morning, just waiting for the workers. <coughs> and then I'm gonna video that being done. There you go. The bedroom is the heart and the wellness. It's where you dream dreams, where you think, where you rest, where you rest the body, soul and mind. And with a view like this, we want to get optimum, optimum wellness and feng shui. This is why I am in Thailand, Asia, for a complete extreme different living that I do in Tuscany, Italy. Share your thoughts. What do you think of the wood grain tile effects? What do you think of the IKEA wireless bamboo lights? What do you think of the wooden fan technology? Would you sleep with a fan above your head? Or like the Thai who said it's bad feng shui. Would you invest upgrade of air conditioning so that your air conditioning bill drops 60%? There it is. I'm going to take one last look. Bye bye, ugly wall, and welcome to the new bedroom. So, so excited. My goodness, it's going to be a noisy morning.